Yo, Yo, what's up everybody? It is a gorgeous day today, so we're headed out on a day trip over to the southmost part of the Coromandel Peninsula. We've got a couple of interesting places lined up for you all today. Yeah, the first stop will be Waihi, which is famous for its gold mining history. And then after that, we're planning to go to the Karanga Hake Gorge and doing the Windows Walk. Yeah, it's pretty close by, only one hour and 40 minutes away from central Auckland. So we'll see you there. See you there. We've just arrived at Waihi and we're at the EyeSight Visitor Centre. There's a couple of interesting things that you can do there. You can go downstairs and check out one of like kind of like the information centre of uh, gold discovery here in Waihi. Or you could even pay a little bit of money and go into the gold mine where they give you like a guided tour. But we're just going to do the perimeter walk and we're also going to check out the uh, old pump house. But let's get inside and have a look at the EyeSight Centre first. found this which is fool's gold so apparently this tricks a lot of people and they mistaken it for gold unfortunately but it is a very shiny pretty rock these ones are from peru it doesn't look like real gold to me at all it's sparkly. <laughs> sparkly what have you found oh this is super cool you can actually get some silver that's come directly from martha's mine and if uh prices on those things are too steep you got the replica gold too <laughs> how much is this one this one is $10. Oh, that might be a nice souvenir. <laughs> Just across the road from the information center is the Cornish Pump House. This place was first built in 1903, hence the uh, very old nature of it. I was having a good chat with Eddie about it, and it's really part of Waikiki history now. It was decommissioned in 1913 and moved in 2006, but not at a cheap price. It was $5 million to move it 300 meters up the road uh, because the original position was starting to become a little bit more unsafe. But yeah, right now it's like one of the landmarks of Waikiki. And if you're wondering what it was used for, it used to house steam engines as well as pumping equipment which would dewater the underground mine at a rate of 7,000 litres per minute. That's pretty impressive for a 1903 building over there. Yeah, look at you doing the facts this yeah, time. Yeah, got my facts. <laughs> Thanks to Eddie. Thanks to Yen. <laughs> a sight to see this gold mine it's a huge hole in the ground and another interesting fact that we learned from Eddie before in the eyesight center is that it's produced more silver than it actually has gold if you want to do the perimeter walk it's said that you can take about one to two hours to do the entire four kilometers but we'll see how far we get we might just go a little bit <laughs> up in there. yeah see how it goes all along this fence you can see 420 World War I centennial poppies. They're here as a remembrance for the people from Waihi district who served in World War I. And the ones that have crosses are unfortunately the ones that paid the ultimate sacrifice and did not return from the war. Okay, so back in the car again now and we decided against doing the four kilometer perimeter walk because it is exceptionally hot today. I'm sweating. I think I've reapplied my sunscreen like three times. A massive shout out to Tom Bromfield for recommending the mine. Yeah, that's right. Thank you, Tom. Right now we're headed over to Ofaroa Falls. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, and then hopefully after that get a bit of food maybe. Right, Peter. Yeah, this is great. I can see the waterfall just over there, and there's a bunch of car parks right next to it. If you're coming here, just put into the Google Maps Falls Retreat, which is the cafe. Uh, that will get you to the right spot because that cafe is just around the corner. Yeah, this nice short distance. Only about 10 minutes from where we were before, right? Yeah, very close. Nice. Literally like two minutes walk, maybe even less than that, we've arrived at the waterfall. It looks like it's a really popular spot for locals to go swimming as well. Yeah, it's your friendly local neighborhood waterfall. <laughs> it's got a very nice rippling look to it and it's quite a round waterfall, this one. <laughs> Alright, 
made our way to Four's Retreat. It's another recommendation from Tom and Thanks, it's got Tom. this very nice barn cafe kind of a vibe to it. Yeah. I've already had a little sip of this drink and I'm telling you it's insanely delicious. I've got the <laughs> ginger ninja I think it was yeah. and the nice waitress was telling us that a lot of the ingredients used in these foods are from the vegetable garden just out the back. Yep, the um, drinks too. Yeah, I've got the yellowfin tuna which is a special of the day an entree. Entree, it looks freaking amazing. Oh man. Oh. Oh, that's a good reaction. <laughs> wow. Wow. That is delicious. It's so fresh. The pickled veggies are incredible. Mm, the tuna is so soft and succulent. Right amount of smoke in there. Oh man, that is it. Oh, that is an insane mouthful. Yeah, okay, I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> oh, wash it down with some of the soda. Oh, man. Everything just tastes so, like, fresh, clean and organic. Nice. That's one of these. <laughs> we also got the homemade lemonade because Peter wanted to have both the Ginger Ninja and the homemade lemonade. So, <laughs> getting the best of both worlds. Both are delicious. They are. It's very, very zesty this one. Very nice. We have also got here the wood-fired margarita pizza, which is very exciting because it looks like there is a lot of cheese on there. That is hitting the spot. We are super hungry because, and again, we started uh, kind of late today. <laughs> so this is a very nice welcome retreat. It's got that really lovely tomato, how do you call it, tanginess, yeah. And then the cheesy goodness with some of those herbs on there. It's a nice base too, I like the thin base, so very good. Mm, yum. For our last stop of the day, Karangahake Gorge, we're going to be doing the windows walk, which we've wanted to do for a while, but also Game Hunting NZ, you were recommending it recently too. But yeah, we the last time we came to Karangahake, we tried to do the Horaki Rail Trail, eh? Yeah, it was a few years back for my birthday. That was a massive fail because we took a wrong turn early at the start and went somewhere completely different. Yeah. <laughs> so missed this entire section. But we are back here today and going to go do the walk. Let's go check it out. So Yen's told me that there's no chance of it, but I still want to try anyway. I want to try and find some gold. He thinks that he can find a gold nugget today and I told him, you can't get that. <laughs> it's like winning the lotto. I'm going to look anyway, since you know it used to be a gold mining area. That's right. Well, good luck. <laughs> Once you come off the swing bridges, you just take your right and you'll be on your way to the tunnel and the windows walk. So apparently you need to bring a torch or at least use your phone light inside the tunnel because it gets really dark. I'm excited for that part. There's also a ton of different walks that you can do here. But yeah, we're doing the windows one today. Oh no, I think he's gonna do what I think he's gonna do. Look how cool this thing is. <laughs> it's a gold mining barrel. Yep, and he got oh, it. Oh, it moves! <laughs> 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 oh, that's, that, that was shocking. I did not expect it to do that. <laughs> wow, that's pretty cool. Always the grown man child. <laughs> Got my barrel ready. Now it's just time to fill this up with gold. Uh, you wish. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like we're gonna hit our first little tunnel coming up. Yes, and we can hear the stream as well down the side. It's gonna get pretty dark soon. Ooh, very dark. <laughs> Watch your head. You've arrived at your first window. We have indeed. It is such a spectacular view. It looks like they were just blasted out of the side of this rock. Yeah, and you can see all the gorge back out over there. There's another tunnel. <laughs> Sounds like we need to do some more exploration. I think so. It's also way cooler in here, which is really nice because it's super hot outside, like we were saying before. So it's a much welcomed relief of cold air. Okay. <laughs> so Yen and I have come into a fairly deep tunnel and <laughs> 
It's kind of freaky in here actually because it's extremely dark and we're at a crossroads. I literally have no idea what's down that way or down that way. So maybe we go back to the windows. Yeah, maybe we go back to the windows. That seems like a safer bit. It's also extremely wet and colder in here as well. It so is. it feels like the aircon is on. Yeah. Anyone's wondering what the gorge windows look like? There's Yen in the distance. Hey bud! That's cool. We've looped back to the start of the track now and it's been an awesome day. <laughs> it has been. It's only about an hour's walk for the entire Windows Walk loop but you can easily spend way longer in there because it's super cool and there's even glow rooms which is amazing yeah if you just turn off your light and then look up to the ceiling yin actually found this Did there's these little tiny green glowing specks and those are glow worms yeah super cool also if you're a bit scared of the dark though you might want to just make sure you have a torch or have your phone battery fully charged so you can use your phone as the light. Yeah, I need to check the footage to see what happened because a bird just flew into my head. Oh but really? Yeah, it might have been a cicada, I don't know. <laughs> oh, no. just flew into my head. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to smash the like and subscribe button guys. Drop us a comment, we love hearing from you. And subscribe if you haven't already. Please also help share our videos around if you enjoyed this. All that stuff helps our channel so we super appreciate it. And we will catch you guys on, on the, the next, next adventure. adventure. <laughs> See ya. See ya. Look, I, I've seen a lot of rocks, but I uh, haven't seen any gold. So <laughs> no gold nuggets, huh? That's, that's a fail on that end. No lotto win for us. <laughs>